Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Sammy Caps here. Well, I had another night on the PTR, and I have to say, it's probably the most fun I've had in Diablo 4 since I embarked on this journey when the game was first announced. And in this video, I kind of want to add to what I said in my last video about Diablo 4 now having a purpose and replayability. And I want to add, so in that video, I talked about how now this new itemization that's in the game now gives us an itemization loop. It's a game played loop that adds purpose to the game. And also, I believe, will add replayability with players that are playing Diablo 4. But I've noticed in the last 72 hours that Another factor that I think is going to make probably, not probably, most likely season four being the best season in Diablo 4. Hold on. Let me drink a little bit more of the Blizzard Kool-Aid here. One, one sec. Oh, thank you, Activision. Um, another thing that makes an ARPG successful outside of the loot outside of itemization, outside of having a good end game, which, sorry, Kool-Aid, Diablo 4 still needs to work on that. But another thing that's creeping up during this PTR that I'm noticing is the fact that the class balance changes that were made have created some unique builds with every class. And when you have class diversity and strengths on every class, this is where I believe you're hitting the mark with creating a good ARPG. Hold on. A little bit more of the Kool-Aid. You know, the barb now with this annoying dust bunny, sorry, but this dust bunny build for the barb is obviously gaining popularity and destroys everything the rogue well pick any skill for the rogue uh, the rogue has always been strong it hardly ever gets touched so the rogue is a fun build to play the sorceress i played the frozen orb sorceress last night on the ptr and i loved it it was a lot of fun and it looks like it's going to be a very dominant build the necromancer has now that the minions actually mean something looks like that is going to be viable the druid always strong it's going to dominate as well my point is all these builds have dominance in diablo 4 and to me that's going to create more purpose more replayability it's going to give players the opportunity if they so choose to play all these different classes because each class has the capability of dominating in this game when you add diversity in the builds then you're giving a a menu for the players to experience you know today i want the meat tomorrow i'll have the chicken the next day, I'm going to have the salmon. Y you know what I mean? And this adds to my itemization loop and giving players, for those of us that enjoy playing all the classes, leveling up the characters, I refer to it as zero to hero, where you're taking a class and a build from nothing to making it dominate in sanctuary in this case when you add that to a game again you're adding a purpose and replayability and i've noticed in the last two or three days while i've been doing the ptr that these op builds these fun builds are coming out more and more and it it adds to the purpose and the replayability of diablo 4 i have no doubt hold on I'm pretty confident 
with now having three days under my belt with the PTR, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly confident that season four is going to be by far on another stratosphere and the best season in comparison to the other three seasons that Diablo 4 has done. Two of them utterly disastrous and only one really being fun. And, you know, I referred to it yesterday, season two, that is. I referred to it as, yeah, it was a good season, but it was a tall man in a room full of short people. And what I meant by that was, yeah, season two was a good season. However, it still lacked, big time lacked a lot of things that season four doesn't. And this is why season four will be known as the season that potentially set the foundation for Diablo 4 to move forward. Now, I know I'm drinking the Kool-Aid and I'm saying all these good things, but let me put a huge asterisk behind these comments. And that is this game now has a foundation. It still needs a lot of work, but we can finally say that this game is where it should have been back when the game was launched, in my humble opinion. So the fact that we've now approached this laneway, now they need to continue. And in my estimation, they cannot, they being the Diablo 4 dev team, cannot let off the gas. They need to they need to put two or three seasons like this back to back. W's, W's, W's. This is when you start changing the tone and the and the discussion around Diablo 4. I see it in my stream. Me, tiny little Sammy Caps, not physically. I mean my presence on the internet. Um, I see it in my stream where my audience, my community, like people that were dead set against playing Diablo 4, them slowly coming around because they're seeing me having so much fun in the PTR. And one by one, they're, they're, they're coming around to, hmm, Sammy looks like he's having a lot of fun. What I'm seeing on screen looks like a lot of fun. I may, I think I might play, I might try season four. So I see it in a small way in my community. This, I think, is only going to amplify outside uh, to the player base of Diablo 4. Those that are considering, those that were against it, but may jump back in. And it's all attributed to, to the facts that not just myself, but literally everyone in this community, whether it was a content creator, whether it was a Diablo 4 player, all of us have been saying the same thing, that this game needed itemization, this game needed end game, this game needed, 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 needed. Uh, these things that we are now experiencing in the PTR are things all of us have been screaming about since day one. So I'm not going to dig up the past. I'm I, I Forget about that. The most important part here is that we are where we are today. It took us blood, sweat, and tears to get here. But thank God we're here. Because like I've said since day one, the only thing that I want to see to see Diablo 4 get to where it needs to be. And this, what I'm experiencing in the PTR, is a good foundation. Sorry, I wanted to get the last sip of Kool Aid here. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, I wanna I wanna document my PTR journey and I wanted to create this video. Because as I was playing yesterday, like I said in the previous segment, is the fact that I see a, a further enhancement to the itemization loop that I discussed 
in my previous video, and I touched on a little bit beforehand on this video, I really think the class diversity and all the different classes that can provide different play styles for the Diablo 4 players is going to be another good addition to the game, and I just wanted to talk about that. I had a blast playing the Sorceress. I'm going to continue playing the Sorceress. I'm having a lot of fun. I want to see how far I can push it, and to be quite frank, I really have just scratched the surface with the build. It's not optimized at all. Uh, so I want to see how how much stronger I can make it. But I just wanted to share the fact that this game is slowly, slowly adding more to the foundation. And that's all I wanted to say. I think it's literally the best foundation that this game has had since the launch. So that's a good step. Now, like I said earlier, there is still a lot more that has to come. But heck, um, we'll take this positive step. And like I said earlier, hopefully they continue with the W's season after season. And then we got the making of a game that could potentially be a very good ARPG. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. As always, are you playing the PTR? What are you finding? What are you liking? Out of all those builds that I mentioned, have you been playing anyone? Are you a dust bunny? Let me know. I want to hear it. By the way, <laughs> I was running a bunch of hell tides last night, and I definitely saw many dust bunnies out there. So you barbarians that are following that trend, get in here and let me know. How's your computer holding up to that build? That's the more important question. We already know it dominates. How's your computer holding up? I would love to hear it. Um, anyway, let me know your comments. Let me know your thoughts. And if you can find it in your heart to like, comment, and subscribe, it would mean the world to me, and I would appreciate it. And as always, we'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.